Hello folks. It's a beautiful day out here today. September the 16th. And I've been uh, walking around out here on these grounds looking for some wild edibles. And here we uh, light a lighter part of the summer and uh, fix the head towards fall. And uh, I found today out here a wild edible in the grass family. Uh, a plant called henbit. Well folks, I would like to thank you for watching this video. Uh, this is old Bubba with you. Bubba the Jewish redneck prepper. This episode of Wild Edibles. Now I have done did um uh, a video on this before. Um, the video of it is um, the quality is not very good. And uh, I found this hen bit out here today, and I just wanted to show you what this um, hen bit looks like. And get you a close up of it. You can see, like it's like four little small flowers on the paddles there. I'm going to pluck you one so you get a close look at it. Turn around and see the pretty paddles. Now, this um, hen bit here, as you can tell, um, they're like three growth on the little stalk there. And the leaves connect right there at the stalk. The stalk itself is like um, pretty straight. Um, the stalk is um, kind of like, I would say, tubular, but it's square. It's got corners on it, four corners. Um, Embat is a very nutritious uh, plant. And uh, it's also in the mint family. Um, I've tasted this plant many times. It's very juicy. And it would be good in salads. Uh, thought as, a, as far as a pot herb, it'd take a lot of this. And when it comes to small grass like this, you'd have to have a big plot of it. And most of the time I've seen hen back growing. It don't grow in very big plots of um, henbat. It's very tasty. has a mild flavor. <clears throat> almost minty because it is in the mint family. It's uh, very good for you, very nutritious. And um, instead of using it as a pot herb, I would say definitely use it as um, um, a salad. If you're out on the trail for whatever very reasons, camping, just hiking, or, you know, just getting exercise in a park. You ever run across this and can identify it? Let me say, definitely try this as a snack. Um, let me give, give a disclaimer here when it comes to wild animals. If you want to get into foraging, that's very good. It's wonderful. Because, believe you me, foraging helps out on your um, grocery bill and it's uh, something that God provided for for us to eat <clears throat> and uh, I mean just look at this pretty flower ain't it ain't it beautiful the, fl the four kind of like violet flowers that grow on this this is good for a trail snack has uh, iron in it has a little bit of uh, vitamin C, has a lot of protein, and uh, as far as my uh, going here as a warning, don't eat wild edibles if you don't know what you're doing. Don't just go out there picking up um, 
wild edibles, just thinking you can know it. Get with other people that know about wild edibles local in your area. Uh, there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube that that talk about hen bit and other wild edibles. Uh, get books. There's plenty of books in stores like Barnes and Nobles and Books and no Books a Million, and uh, used bookstores that uh, carry books on uh, wild edible plants. Um, get out and learn with others. Start a club. Start a Facebook page. There's a lot of Facebook pages out there on uh, the internet that deal with wild edibles. Well, folks, my disclaimer is, is that uh, don't eat something out there in the wild that you don't know that you're eating. A lot of times it takes years of practice knowing what to eat and what parts of a plant is edible and what parts are not. Well, folks, this is my video on hen bed. I hope you enjoy it. This is old Bubba saying, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, let me uh, invite you. Um, or join my Facebook page, Survival at All Costs. Well, until next time, this is Bubba saying, enjoy the journey. God bless and shalom.